What's up, everyone? Guess what I did? Yup, I went off and bought another damn camera bag. All right, guys, the day has finally arrived. It's here. I can't believe it's here. Oh, buddy. Looking forward to opening this bad boy up. All right, let's see what's in this thing. Obviously the sales receipt. Oh, look at that. Uh, look at that. Fly the flag right there. That's badass. Let's get her out of here. If I can grab a grip on it. The bag makes it a little difficult. Oh yeah, check that out. Tell me that's not badass. Fly the flag. Very nice. Peter, you did a freaking badass job on this. Just the presentation alone, I mean, that's pretty cool. And this bag actually, it's pretty good quality. I mean, it's not super thick. It's probably like, I don't know, four mil plastic, but it's actually, Looks like to be like a decent bag. It's resealable, which is nice. <sighs> we ready for this? <laughs> oh, of course, I gotta save the bag. Oh, look at that. It's a little caved in. Let's see here before I really get into it, if that just, yep. Yeah. It just pops right out. Oh, look at that. Look at that. A okay. Huh. Anti mold. Okay. Put all that in the box. Let's see here. Oh. Of course, there's always silica gel. Don't care about that. Oh, that's pretty nice. Let me zoom in here a little bit. Yeah, this material feels really good. A couple little scratches on it, but hey, what do you know? There's yet another silica gel. I'm not overly worried about the scuffs and scratches. None of them look to be deep. I'm just curious. No, yeah, they don't come out. As you can see, there's just a couple little scratches and scuffs there, but I think it's mostly this material. It has like a kind of a satin sheen to it that looks like, well, maybe not. I don't know. It looks like it could scratch easily, but I don't know. I don't even know where to start. <laughs> oh, one thing I gotta find. <laughs> Check that out. Can you read that? Fly the flag. <laughs> That's a cool little touch. So there's many of these reviews out there, so I'm not gonna go over the whole thing, but I just wanted to do my initial reactions and it smells, actually it doesn't really smell at all. That's kind of surprising. The materials, they do seem good. Key ring holder. This is the RFID safe pouch with, if I'm not mistaken, yep, it has a Magnet. All right. Guess without further ado, we'll open up the top and see what she looks like. Oh yeah, check that out. And that just comes apart. It's pretty easy. It's like a hard plastic on there, which is nice. It almost seems like a really, really heavy duty rubber, but it looks like it would last, which is good. Nice mesh pockets, slightly expandable. I'm gonna go to the cover. Oh yeah, it's not bad at all. It seems like a really good quality mesh. And then this one is a bigger one where you can actually fit like clothing and stuff in. Cool. And then of course, if you've seen other videos, this actually somewhere is the, there it is. 
go like this, and the whole bag is expandable. By like up to like four inches right here in the bottom. You could fit a lot of stuff in there. I do like these little pulls though. They're actually really nice. They seem like they're like anodized aluminum or something. So let's just peruse the outside here. So on this side, there is, oh wow, that is a heavy duty handle. It's got a little bit of like insert foam or something in the middle. So it's actually pretty thick. Wow, that feels really good. And then the infamous magnetic tripod slash water bottle holder. With expandable mesh, that's nice. <laughs> that's really cool. The other side, of course, another handle. Feels just as good as the other side. And then here's your quick access into the inside, which you can see is organized. We'll look at that later. And of course the top. Oh wow, yeah, that's really nice. That's really nice material. Much nicer than my previous bag. And then this has, looks like a heat shrink over a knot. It's kind of neat, but the whole point is that this, you can actually lock. That's lockable, and this one's lockable, which is nice. Although TSA will unlock it for you anyways. Let's see here, we'll go to the bottom. Another really nice handle. So, I mean, there's grips all over this. No matter how you want to grip it, you're covered. Although this one's kind of off center, but still, my other bag, it didn't have these two side handles, so it's better than what I had before, that's for darn sure. So now, we'll go to the back. So, it does have a waist belt, which is intertwined right now. It's a really, really heavy padded one too. I mean, it feels sturdy, it feels really, like almost structural. It's got some netting on it, so you could actually kind of clip attachments or something to it. But, my first order of business, I don't ever use these is pull it out FYI only that so much easier than my previous one holy cow that came out so easy it's a pretty nice belt actually cool put that over there so now for the big reveal now I kind of have to do this first so if I flip these out of the way flip that out of the way oh there it is I don't know if you can see that or not on camera. The skull and crossbones, or cross knives in this case. Peter McKinnon's little logo, it's pretty sweet. It's a really nice touch. Now oh, this foam feels pretty good. It's actually molded, so the back side of this is actually the opposite of this shape, which is nice. And of course, a pass through for luggage, which is really, really nice feature if you travel a lot, especially. One thing I really like about this bag that my other bag didn't have is that the shoulder straps are actually mounted to the back panel. So when you unzip it, these stay where they're at, and you unzip the whole thing and flip it open. Oh, I love that feature. Oh, how can we forget? The laptop pouch. Oh wow, that is soft. It's not quite microfiber. Oh, I can't explain it, but that's a pretty soft little setup there. But anyways, that'll fit a 15 inch Mac, so I will test that out this week once I get this configured. All right, without further ado, what do you say? We open it. Oh wow, those are pretty stiff. You can tell, I don't know if you can see that, but that's a really, really, because it's a moisture proof. It's water resistant, it's not waterproof, but look at that. It's almost completely sealed, so you don't even see the zipper. And that explains why this, it's a little tough to open it first. Here we go, and now the inside. Boom, look at that. Oh. It's deep, still slightly rounded, but they're really more square than my previous one, which is really nice. Hey, what do you know? More silica gel and another A-OK -okay anti-mold chip. <laughs> Interesting. Of course, you got the tripod straps that actually affix to the outside if you wanna use your tripod, which is nice. Then you got these. The cool feature is the skull and crossbones on it. And these things are really cool because they're, you can damn near configure them just about any way you can possibly think of and it sticks really well. This is totally customizable. Well, if you'll notice, this spot has an odd shape to it and it's open. I wonder why. Hmm. So with this bag, I also ordered the infamous cube pack. I'll get into this afterwards, but essentially this is designed to fit perfectly 
right there. So you have an extra pack that fits perfectly in this spot. And then the rest of it, you can kind of configure how you want, which is perfect for me because I only have enough gear that I regularly carry to really fill this. If I get more like a drone or something like that, that'd be where this comes in. I'll go ahead and pull this out for now, set it off to the side. I'll put the straps back in here. So now to the top, this is money. So this has two pouches, which this one's a really big pouch. Another one. And then in addition, right here is a sleeve for like a tablet. It only goes down to about here, but you can fit a tablet and a laptop in this whole bag, which is really cool. Or a notepad, whatever you want to put in there. That's a really good feature right there. It's nice rubber. So if I ordered the full kit, it would come with a camera cube, a filter case, as well as some other features. So the way this bag's designed is that the filter case fits perfectly in here, and then the battery holder and memory card holder fit here perfectly. I didn't buy those because I already have some of that. I don't actually own any filters at the moment, so I didn't need the filter case. I've already got battery case and memory card case from third party. Overall, I'm pretty impressed. It's a really, really nice bag. I mean, this inner material, it's kind of like carpet, but not really. It's kind of like a velour almost. It's really nice. And then these, the nice thing is they got the injection molded pads, much like the back of the bag, which is really nice. And then these are, wow, these are really sturdy. Holy cow, these are really sturdy. Overall, I'm impressed. One neat feature that a lot of people don't really go over in their videos, but Peter kind of showed it, and I've seen a couple other creators do it, is that these little dividers Say you have your bag configured how you want to, but you have a couple of these left over. The cool part is, because they're Velcro, you can just put them in the bottom of there and it's not in the way. You can stack them down there and then that way you always have your dividers with you, no matter where you go, and they're not in the way. I thought that was a pretty, pretty sweet feature. Now for the cube pack. So this is the party trick. This is the coolest little design I think I've ever seen. It's got little straps down here. I don't know what that is. It's got a little loop here. Actually, oh, I know what this is. I'm not sure what that is, but this is actually set up so you could actually slip it around the belt and use it as a really heavy duty fanny pack. That's kind of cool. So essentially, this thing has two zippers. So if you open the bottom one, it reveals a miniature camera bag, which obviously I'll get rid of these. Definitely plenty of those to share. So these, just like the main camera bag over here, you have dividers you can totally configure however you want to. You have two of these and then one big one. Typically what people use this for is a drone or you can carry your camera if you're doing run and gun. And here's how you do that. So here comes the party trick to this bag. Like I said, there was two zippers. If you undo the top zipper, pure magic happens. You open this up and outside comes a day pack with its own straps. And you open it up, and if I'm not mistaken, right here, there's actually even another pouch. It's on the back side of the lid, so it's kind of protected. So what you do, essentially, is you can put like your simple camera down here and maybe a couple other little things. And then you have this, you can carry this while you're just out hiking. Put your food, extra pair of shoes or little jacket or something in there. You can put your ID and stuff in there. And then you can just carry this around with you. Then when you're done, you simply just kind of roll it all back up. Just like that. And your cube pack is right back to fit inside your main bag. So this is perfect for traveling. You can pack your clothes and your main camera gear all inside this guy, right? And then, you have this in here, you don't even have to fill it really unless you have more camera gear to take with you, but you leave the main bag in your hotel room or friend's house or relative's house, whatever, and then you just carry this for your day trip with your little camera and whatever. That's pretty sweet. Very, very good job. I'm impressed. Truth be told, it's a really, really nice bag. And if I must be honest, right after filming that, I already did the full first packing. I went through and organized it, filled it to the brim, and that's the next video coming out. So you're probably wondering why I bought another camera bag when I already have one. Well, a little backstory, when I first bought my other camera bag, 
it was kind of the top of the line at the time, or it was the most popular, I should say. Right after I bought that, literally like within a couple of weeks, I believe it was, good old Peter McKinnon goes off and announces that he just put out a bag that was bigger, better, faster, cooler, neater, the whole nine yards. And I'm like, oh man, of course. They'd started the Kickstarter. Pricing was more expensive than what I paid for the Low Pro, but it was just a cooler bag and I so wanted to do it, but I couldn't justify buying another bag right after I just bought that bag. So I lived with it for a while. The Kickstarter came and went. And then I believe after that for a little while, it was on another website where it was at a discounted price still over retail. And then it finally went up to retail and I still wanted one, but I didn't have any aspirations of buying one right now. What really sealed the deal was I entered a contest to win one that Peter McKinnon and Nomadic kind of sponsored. I think they gave away a couple of them. I don't know if there was just one or like maybe three or four. But anyways, I entered that. I did not win, but as a consolation prize, they sent me a coupon to buy that and I get the free Q pack. That's the big reason I did it because that brought it back down to the pricing it was during the Kickstarter. So of course, I looked at it, I sat on it for a little while. I don't know if there was an expiration date or not, but I did sit on it for a couple days, started getting the juices flowing in the old noggin, and finally I just said, you know what? I did the research, I'm probably never gonna get it for any cheaper. And really and truly, those are the two main items that I wanted. The other thing would maybe be the accessory case, but it's currently sold out, and uh, future editions, I'll tell you in the next video, but you can't deny it. It's an amazing bag. I'm thoroughly happy with it. Like I said, I've already filled it and I've already got the juices flowing for cool ideas on how to use it for different scenarios, not just travel. Good job, guys. Very good job. I love this bag and I hope this was informative to you and you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that like button, click subscribe, and stay tuned for the next video. Hopefully it'll be out shortly. See ya, bye.